After drawing a majority of the ire from the public related to the HLS tug of war back in 2021, Blue Origin has now quietly been making huge progress on its orbital new Glenn vehicle. Does this mean that Jeff Bezos is trying to catch up with SpaceX in 2023? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. 2022 is really quite the absent year for Jeff Bezos in the space industry. And by that, I mean there have been no claims or challenges to Elon Musk, which resulted in the company completing the delivery of their BE-4 rocket engines for the first ULA Vulcan launch. However, that doesn't change the fact that that delivery took two more years than the scheduled date. But in any case, this has been quite the huge success for Blue Origin. For the next important project, the space community recently discovered that Blue Origin has published a photo of a new Glenn Stage 1 qualification tank inside the tank cleaning and processing facility, which was taken on November 22nd of 2022. Indeed, the long-awaited beginning of hardware-rich new Glenn development appears to have finally arrived, and it's possible that Blue Origin's first orbital-class rocket could finally start picking up momentum towards its launch debut. Previously among the the items spotted were a second stage, a partially assembled inner stage, an aft thrust section that houses the landing legs, multiple payload fairings, and a variety of domes and welded tank parts. Also, at LC-36, the self-propelled modular transporter used to transport the transporter was moved into the horizontal integration facility on the 2nd of December. It's possible that Blue Origin plans to roll its Glenn Stage 1 simulator out to the launch pad for the first time. With the first flight-rated set of BE-4 engines now delivered to ULA, Blue Origin is also continuing to test BE-4 engines for both Vulcan and New Glenn at the test site in Corn Ranch, Texas. But what's more notable is that earlier this year, some details have emerged about Blue Origin's Blue Ring project. Back in January specifically, the Washington-based space company, Blue Origin, posted a job opening for a position titled Blue Ring Senior Program Manager. However, the posting to the company's Workday Careers page was taken down less than 24 hours later. Perhaps because it contained details about an advanced program the company does not yet want to discuss publicly, let alone reveal. When asked about the short-lived post, a Blue Origin spokesperson said, we're updating the job requisition for this position. For now, the job posting has been deleted. Previously, although the requisition is now listed as no longer accepting applications, details about the job remain online. Intriguingly enough, the job posting states, as the program manager, you will lead the development, manufacturing, and operations of a multi-mission, multi-orbit platform. There are additional clues about the position in the job posting, including the following statement about how this job supports Blue Origin's vision of millions of people living and working in space to benefit Earth. Enabling this future requires frequent and affordable access to a variety of orbits, as well as ability to access infrastructure and services in those orbits. There is a critical need for rideshare and hosting solutions for small satellites for commercial and government purposes. The significance of this is that it represents one of the first times the company has publicly discussed its Blue Ring program, albeit perhaps inadvertently given the rapid removal of the job posting. According to two sources, Blue Ring is one of the projects being worked on at Blue Origin as part of the company's advanced development programs. A number of these initiatives seek to augment Blue Origin's forthcoming New Glenn rocket, a heavy lift vehicle that may make its debut in 2024. These programs include Project Jarvis, which Ars Technica first disclosed in July of 2021 to develop a fully reusable upper stage for the launch vehicle. Although Blue Ring is not as spectacular as a fully reusable second stage, it, it could nonetheless be an important component of making New Glenn a viable commercial vehicle, not just for large government satellites, but also for smaller satellites. The Blue Ring project combines two basic features, an EELV Secondary Payload Adapter, or ESPA Ring, and a Space Tug. An ESPA Ring is a structure mounted in the payload area of the rocket to support six or more smaller satellites, each perhaps weighing a few hundred kilograms or less. This ring supports these smaller satellites as secondary or rideshare customers, with power and possibly even propulsion during the launch and deployment process. Blue Origin also seeks to develop a Space Tug as part 
part of its ESPA ring, allowing ride-along satellites to reach different orbits than the rocket's primary payload. Such orbital transfer vehicle services are increasingly common. For example, launcher's SN-1 orbiter vehicle flew on SpaceX's Transporter 6 rideshare mission with eight different small set customers, and Impulse Space announced this week that its first orbital transfer vehicle will fly on a Falcon 9 rocket later this year. Given that New Glenn will have a large, 7-meter-wide payload fairing and impressive propulsive capabilities, Blue Ring will likely be able to accommodate much larger satellites than these smaller orbital transfer vehicles. However, given Blue Origin's propensity for silence on the advanced development programs, don't expect to hear further details about Blue Ring anytime soon. In the meantime, one can only hope that maybe the next time we hear about New Glenn, it'll be ready to take off. So now, is it possible that Blue Origin, the tortoise that it is, can catch up to SpaceX, the hare? Much like SpaceX's next generation Starship rocket, Blue Origin began work on its semi-reusable New Glenn rocket in the early 2010s. Both were massive, meant to be powered by huge new methane-slash-oxygen-fueled engines, and designed from the ground up with some degree of reusability in mind. But with fairly different designs and wildly different development philosophies, the paths of Blue Origin and SpaceX have only gotten further apart over the last six years. SpaceX thoroughly redesigned its next-generation rocket multiple times before throwing out a large portion of that prior work and settling on an unexpected stainless steel variant that the CEO, Elon Musk, Musk christened Starship in late 2018. Further differentiating the companies, SpaceX began work on steel prototypes almost immediately and successfully built and flew a scrappy Pathfinder, powered by an early version of the same Raptor engine meant for Starship, less than a year later. SpaceX then improvised a factory out of a series of tents and began churning out and testing dozens of more refined prototypes, seven of which would go on to perform flight tests between August of 2020 to May of 2021. SpaceX's last test flight ended with a full-size steel Starship prototype successfully landing after launching to an altitude of 10 kilometers or around 6.2 miles. Testing slowed considerably after that success, but SpaceX is going to have the first orbital flight in March of 2023. That orbital launch debut has been more or less continuously delayed for years and is about 26 months behind a tentative schedule Musk first sketched out in 2016. Technically, the same is true for Blue Origin, which also also said that it intended to debut New Glenn as early as 2020. However, while SpaceX can point to the instability of Starship's design before 2019 as a fairly reasonable excuse for delays, the general characteristics of New Glenn's design appear to be virtually unchanged despite its many delays. The smaller rocket, which is around 7 meters or 23 feet wide and 98 meters or 322 feet tall, to Starship's 9 meter or 30 foot width and around 119 meter or 300 and 90 foot height will still use traditional aluminum alloys for most of its structures, will be powered by seven BE4 engines, will land on several deployable legs, will have an expendable upper stage powered by two BE3U engines, and will be topped with a large composite payload fairing. In short, Jeff Bezos probably wants Blue Origin to go slowly but surely like a turtle. But perhaps for this race, the SpaceX rabbit has never stopped to rest. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX, and as always, if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, my team and I will see you next time.